Hi friends, uh, this is Vithal. I am .NET developer, Microsoft MAP, C Sharp Corner MAP, and Microsoft Community Contributor. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is two-factor authentication in ASP.NET MVC. I have divided this tutorial in two parts. That is, uh, in first part, we will cover all the theoretical concept of two-factor authentication, and in second part, we will learn actual implementation of two-factor authentication in ASP.NET MVC. I have divided these two separate parts because of the video length and contents. So let's start first part of two-factor authentication. Now let's move to the next slide. What is agenda of this video? That is what is authentication? Worry of traditional authentication techniques? Security threats of traditional authentication techniques. What is two factor authentication? Advantage of two factor authentication. Two factor authentication providers. Position for two factor authentications. These topics I will try to cover in this video tutorial. So let's first. What is authentication? Authentication is nothing but like this like this verifying the user's identity with the given credential like verifying the user's identity with the given credential is called as authentications authentication means uh, suppose i have not authority to enter inside the airport without any identity or uh, let's say our daily examples if you uh, if you if you are going to the office we need one certain id card without that we cannot be enter into the office or or any premises of the office so that's related to identity now next slice worry of traditional authentication techniques there are lots of traditional uh, authorize the user or to authenticate the users let's see what are those first is form authentications uh, this details cover in uh, my previous videos or in next videos now next is a windows authentication we can authenticate user in the windows authentication there is a traditional technique known as password authentication and saving username and password the most commonly authenticated user from database by storing username and password most of the people don't use form authentication windows authentication or password authentication they directly store the username and password into the database and they validate the those credentials from ui so these are the traditional uh, authentication techniques which are used since long time in web applications or windows applications so let's see how this this is a if the user is properly authenticated then it should the applications now how traditional authentication process happens let's see first is the user he in, he initiate the request by entering username and password and he will press the login button then after that authentication process is started it goes to the server server sends some data to the sql database or any database the database authenticates the details and send back to the server and net then after that user is authenticated successfully and it will show the welcome screen this is a sample traditional authentication process to identify the users so let's see in the next slides security theories for traditional authentication techniques so what are the security threats for traditional authentication techniques as a human being we care more about the social media social media profiles authentications like security like uh, if i ask for the facebook password or any password you don't give me but if i ask you if i am close friend if i ask me uh, give me please give me your bank username and password i need to transfer some money then i will give back to you once i uh, came towards so you can easily give you and but if i ask you please give me the facebook password or whatsapp password 
then you will not be give me because you are taking much care of social media profiles than the our personal belonging like uh, systems uh, banks accounts and much more so what are the security threats for this traditional uh, techniques there are lots of threats there are lots of uh, three techniques which are categorized on a different patterns uh, based on the nature that is trying to hack password using the different techniques like this sending some links or executed files via email or other media which makes forcefully to open link which reads the system files like this now capturing password through keywords uh, event or person watching you while entering the password like this in office we say that most of the people don't care about their work but they care about the other works so they are always ro roaming around your pc what you are doing so these are the one of the techniques to uh, stole your password or username uh, to uh, get some secure data this is not happen in all office or i'm just giving the example so these are the threads so these are the three uh, categories in the one uh, technical parts or uh, you can say that is the one evaluations like uh, social engineering phishing these are the parts of the threads which are categorized according to the nature of the threads or technique of the threads that is brute force attacks shoulder <coughs> shoulder suffering keystroke logging you was dropping and dictionary attacks these are the attacks which is normally used by the attacker or hacker or any person if you pass everything if you if your application allow to pass these all the uh, threads then simply we are allowing any user to enter your in your application and you are welcoming using the red carpet so these are the security threads in our current traditional authentication techniques so how we can cover that so what is two factor authentication so let's learn what is two factor authentication really name suggests that authentication authenticating user in a combination of username and password along with unique otp by sending on the register mobile number or email is called as two factor authentication otp means one time password otp are of different types uh, we will cover in the next part so these are the uh, these are the authentication two factor authentication so let us um, visualize how what is two factor authentication again like some uh, suppose there is our application we will enter username we will enter password and we will press on a login button then we will uh, there is a plus along with if you authenticate using username password then it will send otp or security code on your register register mobile or your in your register email so these are the techniques to authenticate users two factor means first is username password and second one is of the security code so the combination of username and password along with unique otp or security code is called as two factor authentication so these two factor authentication techniques in implemented in asp.net identity 2 which is introduced in asp.net identity 2 this type of authentication technique supported in asp.net identity 2 features so how the two factor authentication process done let's see the user comes normally he will open the application he enter the username he enter the password and he will press on login button then authentication process start username and password is sent to the server and server send, sent to the database to check whether the whether the given username and password is available in a database if it is available in database then it's sent back to the server and server then validate the credential and once it validates the credential it first send the send the otp screen that is uh, it is sent towards 
the user register email or password if you want to verify the otp given on your text mobile or email then it actually goes into the screen like if you click on verify button once entering the uh, entering the otp it will give the welcome screen so this is the two authentic uh, two factor authentication uh, a technique to authorize the any user or to authenticate the any user so what are the two factor authentication advantages as i already stated that in two factor uh, in previous traditional authentication techniques there are lots of threads but those threads are advantages to prevent those threads we need to we need to use two factor authentication like it will help to prevent the following social engineering phishing attack brute force attacks self shoulder surfing keystroke logging evil dropping or dictionary attacks how these prevents because suppose uh, someone uh, someone monitoring your keyboard stroke that is uh, username and password related even if he monitor all these thing if he log in then the otp or username password is came to you your mobile number or your register email id but the attacker don't have your mobile or your email address so he can't log in into your application so if he tries to log in then result will be this always he will be declined to enter into the application so these are the advantages of two factor authentication now the most of the application uh, implemented two factor authentication the one common example is uh, the biggest uh, paytm application which has two factor authentication now two factor authentication providers uh, there are some providers uh, which easily integrate into the asp.net msc application or asp.net application that is core as well as uh, as well as .net framework applications so these are the uh, sms support providers uh, one one is the uh, twilio <coughs> twilio and an another is the sp sms twilio given the simple dll or library you can install through nuget package manager and sp uh, sms provides the one uh, wcf service and uh, our web service you can consume it in our uh, applications to get the sms or send the sms so so first we need to uh, register with the twilio account to send the text sms from the our application so let's start how, how we can uh, register just simple go here and twilio try free just uh, sign up all these things username password uh, choose your password password again something everything you need to and uh, finally select everything that is uh, your language uh, c sharp node j javascript anything and once you register it will give back to uh, give you a login screen let's say i have already registered with this uh, uh, this twilio account so i will let's enter uh, my username that is tell dot what is at the rate is email dot com it's my email address i can't uh, speak my password so just i'm typing so i'm typing my password i remember or no but i will try uh, i will say no i think password is correct it will be get back to twill account let's wait for few seconds so i can show you what we need so these are the two things we need to use in your uh, msc application dot config file this is account sid this is the unique id which is given to you by twilio and it's a or token nothing but is a password i cannot be, uh, click on here because you will my password so i will avoid this now everything is set up here and those username uh, those settings uh, like uh, 
uh, auth token as a certain auth by using you can you can easily send the SMS with this uh, provider so let's start in next uh, uh, video tutorial we will learn actually how to implement two-factor authentication in ASP.NET MEC so that's it for uh, about this video if you want to uh, contact me you can contact my email ID you can contact me your mobile number you can visit my personal blog visit my community of blog that is csharpon.com you can follow me on Twitter Facebook and uh, LinkedIn as well and please do if you like this video please don't forget to uh, subscribe my YouTube channel as well as to visit my uh, blog that is www.compilemode.com let's I will show you this is my blog you can learn everything from basic to advanced and also don't forget to subscribe for daily updates from this section just enter your email address and verify once you get the email so that's it uh, to this video thanks for watching and have a great day